everyone welcome back welcome back in this video tutorial i'm going to show you how to create your own gpt configure it and then upload it to this gpt store as well as chat gpt so in this case we i created the american football oracle if you click on it you'll see a description page and if you try the american football oracle it will take you to the chat open ai and here the user of the gpt can ask any questions they want or choose one of the prompt questions so if they choose predict the outcome of the NFL game between the Patriots and the Bills, uh, my GPT is going to give the user a very nice breakdown and a pretty convincing answer to who might win this next game that's going to happen on December 31st. Now, this is better than ChatGPT uh, because this has statistics that I gave it, the most recent statistics from two days ago within the NFL, while ChatGPT only has data up until April 2023. So how do we create this kind of GPT? Um, what you have to do is go to the chatgpt.openai.com, go to your profile and go to my GPT. Once you're in here, the first step is to create a GPT. Click this button and then it's going to ask you in the create tab, what would you like to make? So we're going to say, make a GPT that focuses on NFL team performance, uh, game predictions, and you are, we're going to tell it that you're an NFL analytics expert that has years of experience as a statistician and that you explain your findings and answer questions at a level of a ninth grader. Now, GPT, the next thing it's going to do is going to give it a name, right? NFL stats whiz. Does that work for you? So we're going to say no. We're going to say, I prefer NFL team analysis. This is going to be the name of my GPT. Now it's generating a picture. Now, after the picture is generated, you can say, do I like this picture or do I not like this picture? If you don't like this, this picture, this logo, just upload right here with this button uh, your own um, uh, logo and it can use that. In this case, I like this logo. I'm going to say yes. Use this. Great. So the next thing it's going to do is going to say, should it focus more on offensive strategies? What should it focus on? So I'm going to give it my own data, the most recent data that I downloaded from, from the NFL statistics. I'm going to, we're going to go here, YouTube, AI, create your own GPT. And here I, here I have the three CSV sheets. I'm going to attach these and I'm going to say, please emphasize the attached data whenever you're trying to answer questions or make predictions for the users of this GPT. And now it's asking me one clarifying question. Should it be formal or casual? This will help tailoring. So let's say, please be casual and conversational. So the next thing it's asking me, should it ask for clarifications? So I'm going to say it should ask for clarification whenever necessary, but should always try to use the data that I provided it when answering questions, this data right here. And why? Because this data is the most recent data that, uh, that it, um, for the NFL statistics. Great, it's ready. And you can see here on the right, uh, a preview of the questions. So we're going to go into the configure button. Um, you'll see all of this here, which is the description uh, configuration of our GPT. And we can always uh, add more things. I hear some prompt questions. See, if you don't like these prompt questions on the on the right, you can change this question to something uh, that you prefer to ask. Here's the data. We're going to have it use code interpreter just in case in the future I want to connect this ask GPT to connect to a Python code that I'll give it to pull data directly from the web. So I don't have to download this uh, CSV sheets and make them every time. And additional settings, we'll use a conversation. We'll just click on that. And that's it. So now we can test it out. How to predict, I don't actually like this question. How do you predict the outcome of the next Patriot game? Because it doesn't know what the next Patriot game is going to be. It doesn't have that information. So I'm going to change that. Explain the recent uh, performance of the Patriots. Now it's going to update. We're going to click on this. And that's it. Look at this beautiful questions with uh, all kinds of statistics that I provided, defense, offense, and a very uh, convincing answer here at the end. So what you want to do now is save it. We'll say make this link public so everyone can use it. And that's it. Now we have the link. We have our GPT. We'll say copy link. And we're going to load this right here in the submit GPT. There you have it. We have our link. It's going to be on the GPT store in an hour or so. It's on the chatgptopenai.com uh, um, website. Now everybody can use your GPT. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, click the like button, click subscribe, or turn, uh, go into my uh, Patreon account and uh, join me. Always remember, we're better, better together, so help each other out. Have a good one.